Hello friends, we're back again, and this time I got a nice uh, Smogon tour game between uh, Tele and uh, Crystal, and there it is, there's also bad play analysis because uh, someone chokes on Dick here, so uh, <laughs> there's that, uh, I actually ended up winning the Smogon tour, um, for this is XYE by the way, so yeah, I actually ended up winning this one, so I'm at 20 points right now, so that's pretty solid, um, usually need like 30, like 32 for the playoffs, so pretty good position right now, it's still like, um, I believe there's like four weeks left or so, so that's pretty good for me. So anyway, not four, yeah, no, five weeks, yeah. There's still five weeks left, so pretty good for me. Anyway, let's just start. So Crystal has this nice um offensive team. Uh, you can't really tell which one which Pokemon is locked from the team preview. Um, but this is how uh, Scarlet Flanders, as you will see. It's also um it still means it's an SL um SD charm, but that's Dragon Claw, curiously. Um, now this is what sometimes a new term, but he is actually learning on uh, Bug Bite and Super Power, which is kind of interesting, so he basically has no no loost, so it's kind of interesting. Anyway, it's also SD Bishop, so that's that. And, uh, yeah, meanwhile, Tele has his standard dot, um, his, his most famous team, this AIDS, uh, I don't, I don't even know how to describe it, it's just that, um, it's just, it's just really weird and dumb, but it somehow wins, he's lucky, but anyway, um, he actually has Club Tokyo and Club Latios, which is kind of interesting. Um, this is very, this is a very bulky series. Well, I'm not really sure what the spread is, but it's pretty bulky. Um, I saw a heat slam, especially defensive. Um, I think this is a mixed defense club fable with the uh, calm mind. It's also, um, this month is lower, obviously. And yeah, let's just like that now. So, Crystal is gonna lead with the, um, Bishop as Sally is a slow bow. Good lead for Crystal, and go for a free knockoff. Get this thing to him off. Pretty good for him. But, uh, yeah, you know, for Thunder Wave here. Now, this is 50 50. So, um, he doesn't actually know if this bishop has pursued or not, so, Talek, so, uh, Crystal could actually pursue him on the switch, or he just knocked off on the slack off, but, uh, this is actually SD bishop, so, he just did decide switch out instead, putting the switch, so, good play for him, um, Talek's gonna go for close combat with his Skull of Talakia, yeah, predicting the stealth lock from the Gold Chomp, which is a very gutsy play, but it works out in his favor right now, so, that's good, Chomp is dead, um, but Tele does have locks on his field now, which is kind of bad for him, so, uh, Sizzle's gonna come out, and, uh, yeah. Uh, Tally goes for the close combat again, as Crystal over predicts, and goes for the swords there, putting the switch. But now, um, and now he gets predicted again, and goes for bullet punch on the switch. So Tally is outplaying this man. But, uh, this is, this is actually fast Sizzle, so Tally is pretty much forced out. Um, people were saying the chat was fast, I guess he just assumed it was, I'm not really sure, but maybe Calc the close combat? I mean, I don't really know, but either way, so, uh, he's gonna switch out, feeling the superpower. I guess maybe he saw this team before, I guess, I guess. Oh, they just listen to the chat, I'm not really sure, but either way, um, Tobo doesn't come out now, eat the super up, eat the super up, very good for Tele, and now it's another 50-50, and once again, Crystal managed to get outplayed, so that sucks for him, so Tele just making plays all over the place, what, what a little guys, this, this is a Pokemon master, and finally Crystal gets him, outspeed him with the, with the, um, says all the killing with super power, and uh, yeah, I'm not really sure, I guess he overpredicted that. I'm not sure why else he would stay in with Heatran. Yeah, I, I guess he had to have overpredicted that. I'm not sure why else he would do that. Like, yeah. So, he lost 50 to that. Not much he could do. Although, he has the Sizzle, which actually beats Crystal Sizzle 1 1 because Sizzle weakened. So, I'm not sure why he didn't go to Sizzle there. It was kind of a bad play, in my opinion. But, either way. So, Kavil comes out now, and Lance comes out. And, uh, yeah. And, uh, yeah, he actually says in the chat, should have sent a sword, probably. Yeah, you, you should have. You go this. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, there it is. So, the favorite gonna flame throw now. Hit the, hit the Lando's on the switch. And it's just of Lando, obviously, because, um, if you don't have SL, it's probably it's either, like, Lock Polish, Double Dance, or, uh, Twist Scarf, but Twist Scarf is definitely more likely on this team because of how offensive it is. So, yeah. Tell us he's gonna keep spamming softball as, uh, Deal quick, keep copying out. I'm not sure what's going on here. Um, he's just he's just trying to like get up to full, I guess. Which basically losing the crit, and uh, it doesn't happen. It, it happened once, but um, he managed to heal it off, so good for him. So he's gonna keep spamming until he gets to full, which is kind of annoying. But uh, yeah. So he, after this, he's finally gonna get to full, and now he's obviously gonna switch out because he, he doesn't want to be this take on the land as one on one. So he's gonna bring out the Latios on the earthquake, free free play basically. And now Ladius can do some damage to his team. So, this dude's crystal is gonna bring out Bishop, and Tele actually goes for Skull of Default, which is pretty funny. But, uh, I guess it helps him out. Even though Locks is. I mean, I guess Locks is somewhat of a threat. Uh. I don't know. Like, he has Sizzle, like, Fable's immune to it, so Lock can't resist it. Um. I don't think it doesn't really affect Ladius that much. It's not gonna come in that much. And Slowbro as a lead gen, I'm not really sure, but. 
Either way, I guess I can't hold it, except for the fact that now Bishop is plus two, so that kind of sucks. Now he basically just sacks something to knock off, because knock off will just kill you. So, he's in sacks Lobo, um, and yeah, that dies. So, Talkin doesn't come out now, he can level Sucker Punch, obviously, so Crystal's pretty much forced Tao to the landers, and Tally does indeed go for the close combat. And here we are, once again, Tally with the... With the insane list, go for the close combat again, and gets his crystal again as this man goes for the U-turn and has to switch up into Bishop. So, Sucker Punch obviously kills, so I'm not sure what he went for there, maybe he went for attack, but this will ease it up anyway because Tally does have a bulky as so before. So he's an SD here, which I guess will damage him, but Tally does go for the knockoff, which uh, get, we can, severely weaken the knockoff of a uh, crystal. So, pretty for him. He's gonna lose to putting the Sucker Punch, but uh, Crystal does switch out instead, so that's fine. He's going for Hydro Pump here, and uh, as I said before, it is mixed defense for Fable, so he can get Hydro Pump pretty well for Tele. That's nice. So, he's going for Ice Beam now, I guess, just going for the Freeze, because he can't. I, I, I guess. Because if it Calm Mind, I guess he just loses. Um, So, yeah, he keeps spamming Calm Mind. Um, and I, he keeps spamming Softball until he can get Calm Mind safely, so that's his plan. Or, like, maybe Life Warp stall down a bit, and then Calm Mind when uh, he shows Crystal won't switch. So. That's probably Tele's plan, so this dude's still spamming, trying to get the fleas. And, uh, yeah, now Tele, um, is at full. So now he's probably gonna start Calm Mind and heal, maybe just kill it with the, with the attack, but just had to Calm Mind. And, yeah, now you can set up. So, <laughs> this thing's kind of a threat right now. Bishop, Bishop is paralyzed, um, Sizzle is weakened, can't kill in one hit. And, uh, yeah, it's, and, yeah, it's also, um... It, this Clefable also has Flamethrower, so either way it's gonna die, so he just keep, gonna keep spamming the soft world, and the Crystal has to freeze, and he doesn't freeze, it's literally game over, like it's just fucking snack crap, and uh, he has one more chance to freeze him, Tell is just spamming, like it'll be greedy as hell, and uh, on the last possible chance, <laughs> he still gets the freeze. <laughs> That, uh, even though it was hacks, that, that was well deserved. This nigga was spamming softball for like 20 turns. That was bound to happen, so not, no no complaints there. Anyway, um, he's gonna come out now, force the Clayball out. Go for the. He actually has SDs on the Switch, which works out for him. He's an SD again, as a. Uh, Tell us as well, goes for SD. So yeah, now Crystal gonna get to go for the superpower. And uh, yeah, Tell gonna go for the knockoff, take it out. As I said before, he does have a super bulky sizzle, so that's why I love the um, knockoff at other superpower at plus 4. So. Crystal probably didn't see that coming, because if he didn't have that much bulk, um, Superpad definitely killed it, so that's that. Uh, meanwhile, Lydeus comes out now, and uh, a Bullet Punch isn't going to kill it, because as before, it is um, a very bulky Sizzle, so Sasha kills it, now Talakion comes out, it is Scarlet than before, but he still have Landers and Bishop, so he goes in Land he goes into um, Landers now, and Tally goes for the X, hello? <laughs> what? <laughs> hello? Yo, what? Why would you X Sizzle? What? No, that that no that 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 play does not make any sense at all. Hello. <laughs> so <laughs> that's literally the worst play could have made in that situation. I really don't. First of all, I don't even know why he has X Sizzle. Like Sableye's not in this deal. Hello. I mean, I guess it is Laddie with more damage. That's ridiculous. Close combat, earthquake, stone edge, uh, lock slide. That's all you need right now. But anyway, um, that's not the main problem. I don't know why the hell he went for X Sizzle. Like, I mean, I guess, um, he didn't want Crystal, like, sack Landers and then put in Bishop and then suck the funds. But Tele can just switch out and come back in and win anyway. Like, I don't understand why the hell you go for x Scissor. That legitimately does not make any sense. <laughs> what? No, that's a terrible play. Like, Crystal's in half the suit. He has SD. It doesn't make any sense right now. That, that's, that's like the worst play could have made right there. Anything would have been better than that. Like, hello, let's go for close combat. It's a stab move. Like, hello? <laughs> Alright, well, now Landers actually lives once. So now that forces Tele out. And now Chris looking over for the U turn. And he can bring in the Bishop, which turns it on Iron Head and can pretty much kill anything at this point. So, Clefable stays frozen. And uh, Crystal's gonna go for the SD, and now <laughs> Tele actually loses. <laughs> Unless he gets lucky, because Bishop's gonna SD like plus six and just kill everything. Which is ridiculous, I don't, I don't even know what this nigga's doing though. <laughs> Hello? <laughs> All he had to do was close combo to Locky on, are you kidding me? Anyway, uh, Bishop is now an SD, obviously. Actually, never mind, he's going to Iron and kills it. Doesn't want to risk it, fine for him. And uh, yeah, now Crystal can switch out. Putting the trick, good play on Crystal's part, and uh, yeah, it, see the thing is, if if he had trick, then there was no reason at all to feel the X scissor. <laughs> I mean, to not go for close combat. 
Good. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Look, you can just close combat this, close combat again. If it brings in bishops up, you switch the ladders immediately. If he kills you, um, so Lucky on wins. If he doesn't kill you, just click it, and then you win anyway. Like, hello? What is this nigga doing? <laughs> like, that X is a made zero sense. <laughs> nigga was just trying to show off right now. Hello. Alright, anyway, so he checks this laddie as a choice card, which actually makes it faster than to Lucky. <laughs> and now it's a snack lab. He can just Draco sack something, come back in, and win. So there it is. Crystal actually managed to win this game. Because Tele is a tell I won't play X Sizzle. I don't even know why. It legitimately did not make any sense at all. As before. Because no matter what, uh he still had Chilic on Lattice as insurance, which are all he needed to win. So I really don't know what he was doing. But either way, uh the Crystal has won, so there it is. Um Crystal actually made it to the finals, um, along with Soul Win. <laughs> so basically what happened in the finals of this tournament. Um I hacked Soul Wind and then I DC'd. And uh, he was really nice. I mean, I, I like a 90% win or something because I DC'd. I mean, because I hacked him with that. So my win percentage was pretty high. Like, he didn't, he didn't, like, clip me in, like, three turns to win the game. But uh, I DC'd, so he was nice enough to give me a rematch. Because usually in Smogon Tour, if you, like, DC, you just auto-lose, <laughs> which kind of sucks. But, uh, yeah, he gave me a rematch. And uh, he beat Crystal, but then I hacked him with that again. <laughs> and then I also, uh, I dodged the focus blast with the Crystal, and then Crystal choked, so... There it is. That, that's how I won the smoke on tour. So, um, hope you guys enjoyed that. And, uh, yeah, the second video, Tele. And, yeah, as you can see, he kind of sucks dick. So, there it is. So, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed that. And, uh, yeah, peace, friends. With that play analysis later. Bop. We out here.